Here we go. Uh, my name is Odin. Happy to be here. Um, I'm going to talk about automation of GUI testing using visual regression testing. And I know it sounds like quite a handful uh, and maybe a little bit scary, uh, but after this talk, uh, hopefully you have uh, understood how easy and powerful it can actually be. So uh, here's a problem that I often come across uh, when I work with the UI. Uh, how do I test that something is visually correct? Uh, I'm a full stack developer, um, and when working in backend, it's pretty easy. I just uh, write tests that assert something. You have inputs to a function, this function does something, and you get something back. Maybe some side effects as well, but you just check that the output is correct. Uh, for frontends, on the other hand, uh, the output in the end, it's visual. It's a UI. So, of course, you, you might be able to use React or, or just plain HTML, HTML or CSS to just uh, um, get this uh, uh, tree, DOM tree, uh, and you might check that the DOM tree looks correct, like code-wise or markup-wise. Uh, but you really don't know if it's going to look like on the right here. Even if you write tests, front-end tests, you might write tests, uh, but they are all usually like time-consuming, pretty boring to write, and they get out of it really easy when you start to change uh, the DOM tree. So, um, you could, of course, uh, solve this by doing a lot of manual testing, just clicking around. But if you're any, anything like me, uh, you would like to automate things. So not only automate things, but maybe do them e even better. Uh, and here's where visual regression testing comes in, uh, often just called or shortened to visual testing, which I will do. Uh, it's a different type of testing that uh, solved this problem and other problems. Um, I'll start by introducing the concepts, and then I'll show an example of an end-to-end -end test using Playwright, and where I use the tool uh, Percy for the visual difference checking and reviews. So first, uh, what is visual testing? So. Instead of uh, doing a search, like, uh, for example, accept, expect something to be something, uh, we actually capture visual snapshots, which you can think of as like still pictures of um, the UI when you take them. Uh, the visual snapshots are taken at the same place for every time you run the test, uh, and each action of the snapshots, uh, they get a unique name that is really used for each run. Uh, so when we then run the same test multiple times, uh, our visual testing tool, person in this case, compares the new snapshots to the old snapshots and presents you with any changes made. So if there are any visual changes, uh, we can notify the developers and they can review them, ending with either uh, an approval, these are changes I want, or rejections, these aren't supposed to be here. So let's do an example. So let's say I'm a member of the NDC crew. And as a good developer, I want to be sure that the desi design, layout, and content of the home page to NDC is the way I intended, that it looks the same, it acts the same, even uh, when someone makes changes to other parts of the NDC page, maybe the tickets on the, on the page or whatever. So basically, I just want to test that the home page looks correct. So of course, I want to automate this. So what I do is that I write the test in Playwright. So Playwright, for those who don't know, it's an uh, end-to-end testing uh, library that actually opens uh, headless browsers to actually do the actions a normal user would do. So it runs the whole application end-to-end. -end. Uh, so here, uh, in this test, it starts it's quite easy. It just starts going to the NDC homepage, and then uh, it waits until everything is loaded, 
Uh, and when that is complete, uh, Percy comes in. I call the Percy snapshot function with the name of the snapshot, uh, and it takes the snapshot of the home page fully loaded. And that's basically it. That's the whole test. It's two lines. So uh, when I actually run this uh, the first time, uh, Percy gives me a link to their uh, software as a service, so I can just go in there and see the results. And this is how it looks like. So you can see here that uh, Percy has actually taken a snapshot of the page, and it seems pretty correct to me. And that's good, right? So, uh, as with all other software, people make changes all the time. There will be changes. So here, uh, I've made a, like a fake pull request uh, to uh, make changes to another part of the NDC website, uh, totally independent from the home page. Uh, but suddenly, I get this red X mark from Percy, telling me that uh, one visual change that needs uh, review. But why? I edited a completely different uh, part of the page. So why? What's the difference? So uh, to find out, I just go into the Percy at this new snapshot, the new build, and I can now compare the new and old snapshot directly. And also, Percy gives me uh, option to toggle, like show the differences in red, so I can see exactly what has been changed. And you can see here that I accidentally might have written some CSS that is global, that is also on the home page, not only the page I was uh, working on, and the whole tickets uh, menu and endpoint disappeared completely. So um, I'm sure many of you have had, uh, maybe not as uh, extreme, this is just an example, but uh, uh, issues where you have changed something and something, something completely different changes as well. Um, so now you see how powerful this is. Uh, I wrote two lines of code, two lines of tests, and I get all this. So anytime there is a change on the uh, NDC homepage, Percy notifies me. I don't have to cha change the test at all. If it's something that shouldn't be like this, I reject, uh, reject uh, the pull request, and the developer has to change and fix this. Or if it's intended, maybe I wanted to have it like this, then I can just approve it, and it's the, na uh, new, uh, the new uh, source of truth. So it will be used as the baseline for all new snapshots. So uh, what can we do next? Um, I would do a similar test for all important parts of your page. Just some simple tests. Look, go to this, web, uh, this sub page, take a snapshot. Like it's super quick to make, and uh, you get so much value just from it. I call this visual smoke testing. Secondly, uh, you can set this up to work with. Uh, you can test it in different browsers, all major browsers, mobile devices, different screen sizes. And I heard Percy actually supports uh, native mobile apps as well now. Uh, and lastly, integrate with CI and GitHub. Like I showed in the previous slides, uh, make it a part of your whole development process. Get it in your reviews. So, three quickly, uh, three challenges, challenges that I have seen multiple times. Uh, firstly, live dates. If you have live dates in your screenshots, um, they will change every day and you will get tons of false positives. So try to mock them or freeze them or anything like that, or just hide them. Secondly, uh, wait till the page is fully loaded. You don't want to have like an animation of loading the page sometimes, and sometimes a fully loaded page. Just ensure that it's fully loaded, and then you don't have to worry about flaky end -end tests and flaky snapshots. Lastly, uh, try to avoid using it on a live environment because Things can change that it's not in your control. Maybe someone added some content to the CMS or something else changed, so you get snapshot changes that didn't really come from code changes in your PR. So <laughs> this is actually a, uh, a little fun part. Uh, while I was making this, um, 
I had the issue with uh, Percy always telling me that someone something was different, and that was this funny thing, uh, the partner overview. Um, so apparently, probably to be like fair to all the partners, when you load the page, every time they shuffle the uh, partners, so a new partner is going to be first in the sliding thing uh, every time. And of course, then I get the thing down there because uh, it's changed. And actually, uh, you have animation here as well, but that's not the problem because Percy and other tools, they actually freeze all anima animations for you. So you don't have to worry about it. So in summary, uh, the most important takeaways, uh, I would say testing UI code is tedious. You have often have programmatic tests that break easily, and you need to do a lot of manual testing to kind of be comfortable with new changes in a big, complex front end. Um, and visual testing, uh, which takes visual snapshots and compares them over time, uh, here by using Percy, um, can help here. And you can add them to new end-to-end -end tests or existing end-to-end -end tests if you want. And lastly, uh, the best way to quickly get a lot of value from this is to just make visual smoke tests, which are go to the website, important parts of your web application, and just take snapshots, and you're done. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. So if there is any questions afterwards, just find me in the, I think I'm the only one with uh, non-like gray or white uh, clothing here. So you will probably find me. <laughs>